gearing up for another big fixture on Saturday, Stockport, the visitors. How have preparations been and what's the focus been this week? Oh, preparation's been good. Um, focus is just on all aspects of our game, to be honest. Um, I think when you come away with <clears throat> a performance like we had at the weekend, you, you want to improve in all areas. Um, like I said, it was it was good from the point of on paper that we scored four goals, but um, like I've said many a time, it was far too many mistakes and um, things that were disappointing. But like I said, as far as the week has the week has been concerned, we're uh, um, focusing on what's what we're about to um, approach at the weekend because it will be a far bigger test. Um, Stockport are a really good side. Um, I think they can hurt you in many different areas. Um, they've got real good physicality and a real good balance to their squad. And um, okay, they've, they've maybe drawn a few more games than they would have liked of late, but um, coming off the back of a, an excellent February. And like I said, I think they're a team that, when they're at it, can cause anybody a whole host of problems. So we'll have to be far better than we were at the weekend if we're going to contain a, a real good Stockport side. And as you mentioned there, you were left quite frustrated after last Saturday. Has there been a fair, a fair bit of reflection on that game ahead of Stockport to, to try and put those bits right, potentially? Yeah, well, it's always reflection, whether it's good or bad. Um, like I said, it's, it's a lot easier when you're reflecting or debriefing um, on good things. And there were a couple of good things, but like, like I said, it's, um, there's an element of realising that we just weren't at the races that day. Albeit it should have been enough to get the three points, um, and I've I felt like that in the, in the past three games. To be fair, um, we could be in a lot a lot healthier position point, points wise after the last three results than we actually are. But um, as far as performance wise, there's a, a lot that we need to improve on, um, and we will have to because of uh, Stockport are a much better side than Rochdale. And you touched upon it there, obviously Stockport in the playoffs at the moment as well, going going pretty well. You mentioned a few of their threats, but but what will be what will be key to getting three points on Saturday, do you think? Well, defending a lot better than uh, what we did at the weekend. Um, Going to have to try and match them as much as we can physically um, because they're a real big side, but a team that's got some runners, uh, some real strength throughout their team. And like I said, I, I think that they's, they've got different ways to hurt you. They can go direct. Um, you look at Wooten and the prob problems that he can cause with his physicality and Madden's a bit more of a cute player, um, experienced and then even they've got goals from midfield in collar and and like I said we're going to have to defend a lot better but we're also going to have to look after the ball better as well because a lot of the problems that we've been causing ourselves of late um, has been when we've been in possession making um, ill-timed errors and unforced errors if you like so um, we're going to have to improve on a, on a lot of different areas, but and, and and ultimately set pieces as well. I mean, it's difficult. Um, set pieces is very much a personnel-driven um, type things. No matter how much you want to work on it, how much you want to go over things, how much preparation you have, um, it's very much personnel-driven. And um, if you're missing players or have lost players that were the good in that area, then you're going to find yourself in an uphill battle. And in saying all that, we still need to do better with the players that we have on the pitch and there's there's no excuse for people switching off and losing focus. Um, and and that's happened a, a few too many times of late. And obviously yeah, they're a side that we've played twice already this season. Does that give you a bit more insight into sort of the sort of threats they'll pose? Is, is that sort of footage you look back at those previous games and sort of prepare for? Um, well, I think it, it's certainly good for the players um, if they've got, um, certainly if they've got decent memories or maybe knowing a little bit more about their opposing um, kind of people that they might be going up against. But I think the way the league goes and the timings of the league and form and stuff like that, um, obviously it gives you a little closer look at what you're, what you're going into. But I think sometimes you could meet someone at the beginning of the season or earlier on and they're a totally different side um, six weeks later. So, um, like I said, we we just got to make sure that we cover all angles as far as Making the players aware of what dangers they have, but also trying to make them aware of where they might, where we believe they might be vulnerable, and us trying to capitalise on it. 
Um, without giving too much away, on the injury front, are things looking slightly better? Obviously, the long-term ones are still long-term, but is there any sort of updates on those with, the, with your squad selection? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, Fraser and Joe Tomlinson have been involved um, this week in training. Whether that's enough for them to start the game is another thing, but it's, it's nice to have um, two players back that I believe had good experience and... Um, quality to the to the group now whether that's good enough for them to or fit enough to be ready to start a game or even take part in it we're still not sure yet um, but yeah we'll have to see come Saturday um, and after last Saturday we don't have to go on too much but are you calling for a sort of reaction from your players or is that something that they should automatically be looking for on Saturday to, to try and put things right yeah well like, I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist to know when you underperform or the amount of mistakes or things that have kind of occurred in the game, um, they know that. Um, they knew it at the time. They, they've known it, obviously, post-game as well. So um, you'd always like a, a reaction to anything that's kind of negative, um, whether it be results, performance or whatever. You'd always like that. Mm -hmm. But I'd, I just want them to be able to perform at the, the level that they're capable of and eradicate some of the, the areas that were... Um, kind of glaringly on show at the weekend, and forget the goals. There was, there was too many things to um, touch on. But I want them to perform to perform to the levels that they was kind of showing previous to that. Um, because I think when we when we do that, then we're a, we're a decent side and we're a difficult side to go up against. So obviously, um, I don't need to hit home too much about things that have gone home gone wrong at the at the weekend, but at the same time, um, you want your players to be aware of that because I think the more self-aware we are as coaches or players or staff, um, maybe the better reflection we can have and the better opportunity we give ourselves to try and um, put that right. And just finally back at the county ground, a big crowd expected. How important, as always, will, will that fans' noise be on, on Saturday? Yeah, well, we only have to go back to the last home game. I thought the, the fans, I know I'd kind of maybe said previous to that that uh, there was maybe a little bit too many, far too many grumblings in, in the stadium for my liking very early in the game um, on kind of young players' shoulders. But certainly no complaints about the last game we had here. Um, I thought they were class. Um, and like I said, we, we took a real um, low blow for us to come away in the last game. And... And not get any points. So, um, like I said, I, I was. I thought the fans were outstanding in the last game, and anything like that will be a huge boost for for us as staff and players. All the best on Saturday. Cheers, mate.